In this video, we show you how you set up your ARMY interface correctly with your Windows computer. For this demo, we use the UFX. Start off by going to our website army-audio.com. Then click on Downloads. Now we have to select our appropriate product. In this case, the UFX Plus. Because we are using a PC, we select Windows as the operating system. The UFX Plus is connected to the computer via USB. Therefore, we select the USB driver. Keep in mind that Total Mix FX is included in the driver. Therefore, we just have to do the installation process once. Now we have a list of drivers to choose from. In this case, we select the most recent one. Open the zip file and start the installation process. In case of security warnings, click on Open Anyways. The installer wizard will now open and you can finally start the installation process. After the installation process is done, you will have to restart your computer. After you have restarted your computer, sometimes Total Mix FX will detect a mismatch between the Total Mix FX and the settings of your RME interface. This is nothing to worry about, just click on yes and you can start. On Windows computers, Total Mix FX, as well as the settings for your RME interface, are located in the taskbar. In order to have your RME interface available as a sound device in Windows, we have to configure the WDM devices. These are sometimes not configured. In this case, you wouldn't get any sound from your computer or from your programs. You can check the availability in your system sound settings. And as you can see, there is no ARMY interface available. Therefore, we have to go to our USB settings and configure the WDM devices. You can select as many WDM devices as your ARMY interface has to offer. But for this demonstration, we select analog channels 1 to 6 and for the speakers, analog 1 and 2. Let's go back to the sound settings now. And as you can see, we have the RME interface now available as a sound device. In the last step, I would like to show you how you set up your RME audio interface with any DAW. For this purpose, we use Reaper, but remember you can do this with any DAW that you like. For the best performance, you should use ASIO drivers. What's left to do is to select the channels that you would like to use from your RME interface in your DAW. For more information, watch our dedicated video series about routings and layout basics in Total Mix Effects. Thanks for watching.